Hey, what's up guys? The Menace Desperate is here, headlining the Houston, UFC Houston card. We're here at Cooperstown at the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Let's go check some things out. So this is obviously the Hall of Fame plaque gallery. This is where we honor the game's greats. So when people come here, is there a certain plaque when they come into this room that they're like, oh, yeah. I want to see this guy. He is yep. famous, That's who, right? Exactly right. He's the first one out of the gate. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'd say, obviously, since we're in New York um, and the Yankees have had the most storied history, team history, you you know, you get a lot of people that are looking for the Mickey Mantle or the Joe DiMaggio. Right, right, right. I feel like his is the most, the most shiny. This one well, looks a can, little more. We can, we can, uh, so he's we the can, most we can important. Have him, we can have him refurbished, so we'll send him back and they'll get oh, okay. worked on. So this is the last couple of induction years, three induction years here. So I remember uh, Ken Griffey Jr. I remember Mike Piazza. Yeah. He's a catcher from the Mets. Now, what makes, at what point can a player be eligible to become, to be in the Hall of Fame? In the fame? Hall of Fame? Yeah. So you have to be retired, you have to play for 10 seasons, and, okay. then, and you have to have been retired for five years. And so that sixth year after your retirement is the first time you're up for election on the ballot. All right, guys, we got some top secret stuff. Look, he's putting in a code for us to even get in here. Yeah. Only for the UFC. So Dennis, I pulled some things out for you to look at, some Yankee okay. artifacts here. Thought okay. that you might enjoy them. This is Derek's. Oh, sick. Hey, Derek, Jeter, I got your glove, bro. So this would be the 20s, and this isn't just anybody's first baseman's pick. This is a Lou Gehrig first baseman's pick. Oh, wow, I know that name. So he's the Iron Horse. He was most famous for his consecutive games played streak. In terms of games in a row without missing a, um, a game, which Cal Ripken Jr. finally beat. I feel like my hand would fit in here pretty good here. One of the things you may not know about me, like when I get my own exhibit, the UFC exhibit, the UFC, yeah. in the future, there'll be a Guinness Book of World Records. Black. You're the world's fastest, what, time during the leader through a straw? Is that yeah, what it Lemon juice. Straight lemon juice. So, if you want to battle me, <laughs> get two leaders, two straws, we'll do this. That wraps up our time here at the National Baseball Hall of Fame. I want to thank my main man, Eric, for showing us around. I'll see you guys again. February 4th. Oh.